Hey, what's going on? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me in this video of the Like a Boss Facebook training. In this one, we're going to be talking about the options you have when it comes to Facebook and targeting. This is one of the big advantages that Facebook has with their ad platform is that you can really dial in your message and your advertisement to the exact audience that you want to reach out to. Every one of those pages that you like and those groups you're a part of and the things that you interact with on Facebook, all of this data is collected and this puts people into pockets, pockets of audiences that we as marketers and businesses and those trying to get our message out, we can look for those pockets and we can really target and, and dial in on those pockets better than really any ad platform out there. A lot are catching up to this, but this is the advantage that Facebook has had since they opened their ad platform. So I wanna talk about the basics of that and then get into a little bit more deeper on these subjects in later videos. Now in the ad set level of creating your advertisement, you're gonna be able to choose the target audience you want to select. Now we have a few options that come along with this. First off, we have, we can choose a custom audience that we've built elsewhere. If we have an email list, if we have a custom audience we built within Facebook for people who land on certain pages or take certain actions, we can target and use this audience to show more advertisements to. It's just simply a custom audience. There's lots of different ways to go about building these custom audiences and I talk more about that in a later video, so check that one out. That will also go into lookalike audiences, which are another form of custom audiences to really expand your reach and be able to target more people than just what Facebook interest and Facebook um, features are giving us. Next off, we can go down by location. So if we want to do just the United States, if you want to go worldly, if you want to go down into the state level or even the city level, you can dial it in to any location you want to really be able to hit those people that are exactly your target market. Now, of course, we have age and gender, so you can select certain age groups. You can go by uh, just one gender at a time. You can group them all together. Um, these are all just you know simple demographics that we want to know when we're doing our advertisements. Languages, if you're marketing only to Spanish-speaking uh, audience or something like that, you can dial into certain languages. Uh, just more information to allow Facebook to show the right people what you want. And then lastly, we have uh, interest and demographics and behaviors. This is really where the, the money of Facebook advertising comes into play, where this is all those groups, all of those fan pages, all of those things that people like. Facebook has put them into certain interests, as they call them. So someone who enjoys to go horseback riding, we could just do horseback riding, and you'll see a whole bunch of interests that fall in line with horseback riding appear. Now on the right side, you'll see that we have a estimated amount of reach that are people that are a part of this group. So for our top horseback riding interest, you see there's 41,800, or 41,800,000 25,000 people that we can reach with this interest. Now we also see underneath this horseback riding as an employer. So we can dial in the to the level of people's work and their jobs and what they do. We can dial into their household income. We can dial into their purchase behaviors online. There's lots of things to dial in and look into on the Facebook advertising side. As you can see, the four major groups here of demographics, interest, behaviors, and then more categories are just kind of random things. So demographics, we're diving in. We can go by education level, ethnic affinity, financial status, generation. So if you're doing grandmothers or generation X, baby boomers, whatnot, you can dial into that. What type of home layout do they have? Are they you know, new parents? Are they veterans in the home? All working women, grandparents? All of these different demographics we can dial in and really test out. If you're only marketing the parents, we can you know, hit moms who are soccer moms. There's green moms. Moms who are only, uh, only have high school you know, kids. All of these different things we can dial in with. And that's just the demographic side of it. And then we have the interest, and this is like I just showed, really we can dive out there as far as 
the fan pages and the groups and the things that people like out there. Uh, you'll see in a later video as well, we're going to dive into audience insights. We're going to do research on making a master list of all these possible interests. So like horseback riding again is an example, like I said. And then we'll have a whole bunch of others that will just pop in here. Just type in horseback. I love, I like horseback riding. So as you can see, we're kind of dialing in to a group of people more so than we were with just hitting everyone on Facebook. We can start to really go into those folks that like horseback riding or whatever our niche is. Now on the right side here, we can have a little suggestions by Facebook about who you're, who you're targeting, how large the audience is, um, if you should make it larger, smaller, whatnot. So with that information there, 18 to 65 year old men and women in the United States who like these two interests, we have about 5.5 million people we can potentially reach. Now let's say we have a pink female horseback riding shirt that really only younger females might like. So we want to dial that in even more where we'll go women, let's say 18 to 35, and we can see the potential reach then dials into 2.8 million. So we're getting into you know lots of potential reach out there, so many different angles uh, that you're allowed to target. These are all things that we want to split test and really find all of those pockets out there that are going to convert for us. So this is something you really want to dive into, really look at all the demographics and the interests, and then behaviors are another very important one I didn't really get to talk about. Just kind of seeing what someone's purchase behaviors are, what they do, their job role, what do they do online, just kind of the background are they do they sign up to a lot of newsletters are they subscribers to a lot of magazines all of these are behaviors that can kind of tell us a little bit more about our audience and then lastly there is one extra spot where we have connections and we can set up certain connections if you have apps in place or you're doing an event and you have certain members who have liked it or been invited you can advertise to them Facebook pages you have your page going you can advertise only to those who are part of your page you can even advertise to those who are friends of people who like your page so this is a good advertisement if you're in a passion niche where let's say someone loves beagles and Everyone, you know, if you love an animal, they have a lot of friends who probably like that same animal. Or if you're in a profession, let's say a nurse, they have a lot of friends who are also nurses. So sometimes it's a good idea to do advertisements that aren't advertising to those who actually like your page or are in your interest, but those that are friends of those people. Because a lot of people stay in those groups and those communities that, you know, are like minded. So connections is another section that we can use for our targeting, but these are really the main pieces that you want to dive into. Definitely look into the other videos in the Like a Boss training here where I go into custom audiences, I go into lookalike audiences, um, and then I'm going into uh, audience research, looking for quality interest, making that master list, and then in another one I talk about flex targeting and how we can cross these up where we can start using and and or statements when we're doing our targeting. So guys, thank you so much. My name is Travis Patel. Hope you got a lot from this one. Feel free to leave me any questions or comments. Have a good day.